What's good, YouTube? Stormy B Man back at you with another video. This time it's an update on some happenings around the PBC boxing community. But first, shout out to Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world, and new media. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Recently this week, on the PBC broadcast, Fox Sports, there was a roundtable discussion. And the participants in the discussion were Sean Porter, Mikey Garcia, Caleb Plant, and Leo Santa Cruz, soon to be joined by Deontay Wilder. The early on discussion was with Mikey Garcia, who was revealing what his intents are over the next ensuing months. Mikey has decided to vacate his WBC lightweight title. He's looking to campaign for big fights at welterweight, 147 pounds. And he said there is a chance and possibility he could go back down to 140, but he is absolutely abdicating his WBC lightweight title. This is news for everyone because a lot of fans felt like Mikey should return back to his natural weight of the lower weights. I could see him campaigning myself at 140, but 147 may proved to be a little bit high for him, but he says he wants nothing but big fights and challenges for his career and legacy. And you have to take your hat off to him and respect him for that. Something tells me there may be a Manny Pacquiao fight in the cards for Mikey Garcia. I just have that feeling people, it's behind the scenes and it seems like the kind of move that will be made for those two fighters amid a division full of lions. We'll see what happens. Also, Showtime Sean Porter seems to be quite diplomatic in his expression when communicating on the panel with Mikey which lets me believe that he is also in the, in the talks behind the scenes with Mikey. A possible matchup between those two would be a little bit intriguing. Uh, they're both smaller welterweights and their styles could prove to be quite interesting and exciting. As we move forward in the discussion, the panel of uh, hosts, they, they began to have a discussion on big money over legacy in boxing and how each of them would approach that question when asked of them. Garcia already seems to have a plan in place for his career and establishing big fights from here on out. He understands that the greater paydays for him are in the cards. Uh, Sean Porter seemingly agreed with that, but Sean, like I said, being ever the diplomat, is always keeping himself on great terms with people because he understands the business of things and how to keep options open. Caleb Plant, the newest champ of the three, these guys understand that he may be looking for paydays seeing that he just acquired his title but the challenges for everyone coming after him are on the table already and Santa Cruz has already shown us even though on television he says that he's looking for legacy by already avoiding fights with Rigondeaux, Frampton, Morris, Donaire and Gary Russell Jr., we know that that gentleman is not looking or pursuing legacy at this time. The conversation quickly shifted to the PED question 
in professional boxing. And Deontay Wilder was a part of this discussion as he was hit up from his training camp while preparing for Dominique Brazil. And he spoke quite passionately about fighters that are being flagged for PED usage. And this most recent event with Jarrell Big Baby Miller is an example of what he's always been talking about, how he has missed out on opportunities, not only for his legacy, but his financial opportunities due to f fighters who are cheating in the sport. And I side with Deontay, and surprisingly, some of the panelists did as well, but not as strongly as he was because he is the one ha who has immediately felt the complications that result as fighters being popped dirty for PED usage. First-hand experience, Wilder has lost training camps, uh, he's lost traveling, he's lost uh, having to pay his coaches and sparring partners and things like that as a result of guys popping dirty. Uh, so he has a strong case in this. Uh, Mikey Garcia seemed to feel a little bit the same as Wilder, but uh, some of the panelists just felt like maybe like a first time being caught dirty, uh, you should be given a second chance. But Wilder feels like all of it should collapse under this card table, this glass house of deception in the sport because the fighters put their lives on the line. No one realizes it more than him because he can execute a man with one punch. I totally side with Wilder on these subjects, including the thought of illegal hand wraps. When you're participating in a sport where the idea is to hurt the other man, and you cheat, you should pay for that. You train and put your body through so much only to have an opponent who's in the same sport as you competing the same way is cheating to get an advantage to possibly kill you. I can't ride with that. Deontay Wilder is correct. This was an interesting discussion. Let me know what your thoughts are on these subjects and on what Mikey Garcia's intentions are with his career. Do you think a Manny Pacquiao fight is in the cards for him? Let's discuss. This has been Stormy B-Man. That's all I have for you at this time. Until the next time, peace.